Hello, my name is Annalise Lamboy. I'm from Valley View High School and I'll be doing a piece from 110 Stories. The city's quiet now, except for the sirens. But the city's still here. We're horrified, stunned, and shaken, but still here. I've been thinking about this joke I heard after the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. Those terrorists tried to bomb the towers just to send a shockwave through New York. Hell, that's no way to shock New Yorkers. We expect stuff like that to happen. If you really want to shock us, finish up the construction on the Queensboro Bridge. Now that'll shock us for real. I went to give blood at Bellevue Hospital, only to find the line of people, four deep, wrapped around the block. There were medical personnel everywhere. A young doctor told me, we've been here all day. We just aren't finding any survivors down there. Everybody's gone. Gone, but not forgotten. The cloud that co covers the southern tip of my city, that's where they are. Their dreams and their souls and their lives are hovered above us in a cloud of dust. Someone from the hospital came out and made a loud request that anyone with O positive or O negative blood to please come and step forward. The nurse said, we need your blood. We need it. One at a time, they pushed forward. A young black man, a professional looking Asian woman, an old man in a yarn look, some Hispanic students, a city bus driver. They had nothing in common with one another but the same blood, a blood that can save all lives, a universal blood because it does not discriminate. What runs through their veins is our only hope. God bless them. Pray for